I am currently booted into a live CD of Slitez, and what I'm going to show you today is how to take this live CD and install it onto a USB flash drive. We're going to click on our applications menu here, and we're going to go up to System Tools, uh, and then we're going to come over here, and you have Taz USB Live USB Tool. I'm going to type in the default root password, which is root, and I'll click OK. And now you can choose an ISO image you may have on your hard drive by clicking here and finding it. If you leave this blank, though, it will try to install by default from the CD-ROM that you have in your CD-ROM drive. Now also right here, it is going to list your available USB media. I am booted into a uh, virtual box, and I do not have a USB flash drive hooked up. So I'm just going to direct it to my... Uh, hard drive, my virtual hard drive. Um, you can do this on your computer as well, but do know it will erase everything that is on that hard drive. But normally it would give you a list of available USB flash drives and it won't show you your internal hard drives so that you don't accidentally write over them. And at this point, all you have to do is click generate. And it goes through and it installs uh, stuff to the master boot uh, record and then it puts the files from the CD on there and makes and installs a bootloader and then at this point it asks you if you want to exit or reboot uh, you can hit enter and you will exit uh, but I'm going to type reboot and I will reboot give us a moment here while it reboots uh, but basically I'm going to boot into uh, I'm going to hit the key that I need to hit now uh, to bring up uh, my boot options. It's different on every computer, so find out what it is for your computer. It will sometimes say it on the screen uh, while it's booting up. Uh, and I'm going to choose, in this case, primary master, but you would choose, you might say the name of your flash drive, it might, you know, it will say the brand, or some will just say USB drive. It varies from computer to computer. But I'll choose the proper drive, and as you can see, it looks like you're booting from a CD-ROM but you're actually booting from that device. And uh, what's neat about booting off a USB flash drive as opposed to a CD is that you can actually save uh, your changes back to the flash drive. It doesn't do this automatically while you're working, but when you go to uh, shut down the machine or reboot, it will ask if you want to save changes to the flash drive. And as long as you have room on that flash drive, you can do it. So it makes it a nice working environment that uh, you can mess with and you don't have to worry about messing up because then you just reboot. But if you like the changes you make, you choose, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll save the changes. Choose my language and my keyboard settings here. Now we're booted into the desktop here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, well, since this is a GUI tutorial, I'll use the GUI. Usually I install stuff from the command line, but um, let's see, package manager right there. I'll type in my password here, root, OK. And I'll just install a small package and uh, let's see, recharge list. And we'll reboot and I'll show you that uh, it gives you options for how you want to save to the USB drive, whether you want to compress it or not. And then when you reboot, the application installed is still installed. Just have to wait for this list to refresh. This is one of the reasons I usually, as I said, install from the command line. It's a lot faster. But uh, once again, GUI tutorials, I'm trying to do things the GUI way. And I'll just install a small package, something like uh, Nmap, which is a great uh, networking tool. Boom, boom, boom. You can see the process working real hard here to regenerate that list. It's also a really slow virtual machine I created. Okay, we'll go search, and I'll go, well, actually, can we just go to Nmap here? No. Do, do, do. Oh, you know what? We'll install MP3123 or MPlayer. MPlayer is a great program. I'll double click that, install package, wait for it to download and install. 
Got an estimated three seconds left. Of course, it's got dependencies, so now it's got to download the dependencies. Lame, which is for MP3s. Some other stuff, I don't know what it is, but uh, some of them's got, uh, some of them's, some of them have uh, dependencies as well. M player may have not been the best option for a quick install, but it shouldn't take too long. M player is installed. There we go. Now, if I go to my uh, terminal here, I can type in M player and hit enter, and you can see the screen here. I don't have anything to play right now, but M player is installed. And now, normally, if you're rebooting from a CD ROM, when you rebooted, M player would be gone. But in this case, if I go log out, and I'll say reboot, but you can see here it has save file system uh, using compression. We'll save file system, and we can choose uh, gzip, lzma, or none. Um, none would probably be faster, but we're going to go through the process with gzip here. I'll click reboot now, and you'll see it asks for a root password so that you know the only administrator can save the changes. Okay, now it's going to ask you stuff. Do you want to save sound card, uh, or do you want to remove sound card selection? Default is no. We'll just leave that on there. Uh, we'll say screen resolution. We'll hit the default of uh, no. Don't remove that as well. And now it's creating a new root file system and compressing it with gzip. Now this may take a minute or so, um, but it, it will save you room on your flash drive if you compress it. Uh, you can go none for no compression, and it'll probably save faster, maybe even, I'm assuming, boot faster. Uh, but you're going to have two to three times the file space taken up. And uh, if you're work working off a flash drive, you're probably going to be somewhat limited on storage space. Uh, even though Slitaz is pretty small, uh, it's always good to conserve space. So uh, zipping up is not a bad idea. And now I'm just talking to talk because we're waiting on this compression to happen. And it shouldn't take too long, like I said, maybe a minute or so. Um, but when it's done, it will ask you to hit enter, I believe, to continue. And we will reboot. And uh, what we installed, which was mPlayer, will still be installed when we reboot from our flash drive. I hate these awkward moments. I could cut it out in editing, but I like to show you guys the full process as long as I can fit it in my YouTube 10 minutes. There we go. We'll hit enter here. You can see root file system is 42 megabytes. Now that we have everything installed that we want installed. And we'll reboot. I'll once. Thank you.